take us on day five. Are we already on day five? Yeah, I think so. So remember guys, this hackathon is like an eight day hackathon. As you guys can tell, I'm not looking at you. I do have my sunglasses on. I'm actually watching the road where we're pulling out uh, my farm. And anyways, so this morning we have already gone over to the part this morning and hiked and I smell, I sweat so bad and I haven't had a shower yet. I did get my day four vlog edited and posted. Also edited another video and I need to post that here when we get back soon. But my mom just called me and said that her air condition went out this morning and she's waiting on the guy to come over to fix it. Hopefully nothing too bad is wrong with it. But she said she's really, really hot and she needs a fan. So instead of just going out and buying a fan, I told her I would just bring her one. You know, um, she, it, hopefully it won't be too long. Sorry, I'm going over the railroad tracks. Gotta watch. So anyways, like I was saying, I'm taking my mom a fan and which are in the back seat. We had a difficult night because Dakota decided to become a lady for the first time. So she went into heat for the first time last night. And so my mom brought me some. My mom was out and about at Walmart. And so she brought me some doggy like disposable diapers, but she's not liking the diapers. She's like broken when she has the diapers on. And yeah, so that's been an interesting thing already going on this morning. And like, last night I didn't sleep well because she just decided that she didn't like it sorry about winter winter sit oh now <laughs> guys I usually have like this um like claw thing so I'm stopping for a train now because I have to cross the train again so I cross my side pretty quickly but anyways there's usually like a claw thing that goes across like the seats and stuff but I took it down to wash and it's drying right now so they, they're like sliding around the back seat because I use like leather cleaner, whatever you want to call it, to clean the seats. And there's a guy getting out of his truck behind me. That's always fun. I don't know what he was doing, but anyways, that's what we're doing this morning. I'm still reading Ruthless Gods. I did realize that I didn't do my exercises yesterday for Midnight Sun or Ruthless Gods, so I guess I'll be doing my exercises again for Midnight Sun and Ruthless Gods today. And... Yeah, so that's going to be a fun day. Usually on Fridays, I have off, so I'm off today. And, or like every other Friday, sometimes every Friday. Right now, it's like every Friday because we really don't have a lot going on with work. And so, I usually take Fridays to clean. I already cleaned my master bathroom, as you guys probably saw from the vlog yesterday. But I need to clean the rest of my house also. Swept the mop yesterday, so I probably won't be mopping today. I always usually try to sweep up at least once a day because... The dogs go in and out in a dirt patch, so it's just nice to keep it clean, especially if random people come over. I do need to dust and clean the second bathroom, so I will be doing to that. And I have a lot of laundry to do. I try to wash my sheets and my comforter once a week to keep everything nice and fresh, unless I need to change out sheets more if I sweat at night or things like that. But anyways, guys, welcome to Hackathon Day 5. I'm trying not to ramble much for you guys and we're waiting on the train and we're gonna be we're headed to my mom's for a little bit for like a few minutes I've been cleaning the house today and just making dog treats and stuff like that. But I just finished the audiobook of Ruthless Gods by Emily A. Duncan. And I don't have a star rating just yet, but I am going to say that I immensely enjoyed this. It takes me, like I said yesterday in my vlog, a little bit of time to come out of this world. And the setting, this audiobook is so atmospheric and the book is so atmospheric. And I love every single moment of it. And... I, I just, I love this book so much, and I'm so ready for the third one to come out because I need to know what happens in the last of this, but I'm really leaning towards more like 4, 4.5 stars for the book. I really have to like sit down and think about it. I don't think it's a solid 5 star book, but it's still 
really good and it's up there with like I think I gave Wicked Saints five stars because it was just absolutely amazing and even though this book is like a hundred page more than Wicked Saints it stands up and it's so good and I'm so glad we got all these extra details and I don't understand why people don't like this book but then I can understand and see some of the places why a lot of people wouldn't want to read this but yeah like I said I really really enjoyed it and I have the rest of the evening I think it's like almost five o'clock left to read a book Saturday Sunday and remember this readathon goes on till Monday so I might pick up something here in a moment I just don't really know what I want because I'm kind of coming off a high from this like a reading high from this. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I started Roar by Cora Carmack, so let me go grab that book for you guys and show you. I'm currently on chapter like five, I think. Yes, I'm currently on chapter five, so page 77. I think I'm going to pop in the audiobook of this for a little bit more to try and see how much more of this I can get done. I'm enjoying it. This is a read read for me, but honestly, I have totally forgotten everything about the story, so I'm enjoying it like it's the first time I've read it. Yeah, so it's been pretty Pretty good so far we're getting a lot of world building is about this kingdom and you have to have this magic to steal hearts of storms and once you grab the heart of a storm because the storms plague all these kingdoms that it becomes like a little gem and you can actually use the gem to enhance your power so I'm really enjoying that and there's a lot going on between the prince and the princess who are betrothed to each other and a lot going on there so anyways I'm really enjoying it so far so like I said I'm ending the vlog here happy hackathon day five and I'll see everybody tomorrow for day six